Oh, hey there. Um, yeah, this video was originally going to be about this, um, just showcasing this Sony Walkman. This is a cassette player from 30 years ago. Can you believe that? I found it and I thought it was working fine. So I thought it would be fun to uh, check out how this thing plays music with the help of these old magnetic cassettes like these. But as soon as I put in some batteries and I hit the play button, this is what I heard. Yeah, something's wrong with this. You see, the other things work fine. The uh, rewind and the fast forward buttons, they seem to work fine. But as soon as I press the play button, it makes this awful sound. Uh, and none of those uh, tiny gear things, none of them turn. So something's wrong in there. So I guess this video is going to be kind of a teardown of this. I'll probably end up just destroying this thing, but um, and no one's using this anyway. So it'll be kind of a fun experience to take a look at the latest technology of 1980s. Why do I have a hammer here? Yeah, good question. Um, I don't see how I can get into this because there are no screw holes. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to use my screwdriver or not. Uh, so I have all the big guns ready. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, a brief physical overview. I mean, this is the front where you insert the cassette. These are the buttons and uh, this is the battery compartment where uh, you can see there are two AA batteries, scientific terms. Now you see, this is what I meant. If I hit the forward or the rewind button, those dials seem fine, but if I hit the play button, it just gives this awful noise and uh, nothing plays or nothing turns there. Oh god, that's horrible. Uh, I'm thinking something must be stuck in there. After all, this is entirely mechanical. So uh, yeah, uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Let's try. By the way, this hole is called a headphone jack. Interesting, isn't it? Old technologies. Legend has it that hundreds of years ago, people used to have this hole on their phones too. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Someone has already tried to open this in some way, I guess, and they have left a dent. Uh, come on. I think this just opens by brute force. I, I don't know. I could be destroying this thing. I hope not. Oh, shit. Um, whatever. Let's just continue. Come on, you piece of... <clears throat> Ooh, I'm starting to sweat. You can already kind of see the motors and stuff there. Yes, this should be pretty easy to fix, I'm hoping. Let's, uh, let's see. Okay, I think it's finally coming off. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. I did not think I would find this much of PCB in it. I thought it would just be a bunch of motors. Clearly I'm stupid. So I didn't need the hammer after all. I'll save this only for motors. Just look at this. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. The batteries are... Okay, I think we'll need the batteries to see how... I think we'll need the batteries to see how it works. This tiny gear when you hit the rewind button, or uh, what is it? I believe it was forward or something, I don't know. But when you hit this gear, yeah, it connects to this thing and it turns it. And if I hit the other button, it switches the other way. And I believe this gear is for the play. Oh yeah, see? See that? They, these two gears are not really making contact. That's the problem. Oh, this gear is stuck. That's why. It's not turning. Okay, something's jammed it up. Now these are plastic, so I have to be careful. Uh, so that I don't break it. Something's jammed up there. It's really, really tight. That's what she said. You saw that? It wants to turn, but it's not powerful enough to turn. Huh, you see? If I hold it down, it does kind of spin. Barely. That, that's no joke, it really hurts. 
Yeah, I think just a little bit of spirit and vinegar will do the trick. I'll get them. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. So I have a couple of things here with me. Um, this is of course uh, spirit, um, nothing but rubbing alcohol as you call it. And this is uh, one part acetic acid. Um, it's basically vinegar. Uh, it's acetic circa, which you will find pretty much anywhere. It's really smelly, so don't open this lid. Uh, otherwise, people will not be friends with you. And this is the hydrogen peroxide, which you'll commonly find again uh, at your local chemist. Uh, it's a pretty useful tool for cleaning anything. So I call this mixture of these three my universal junk cleaner. It cleans everything except your own junk. So whenever I have to clean anything like dirt or any rust or whatever, I just take two parts of this um, spirit and add one part of each. Now you can use an old Q-tip uh, which is nothing but your earbud which you clean your ears or you can use an old toothbrush like this. Uh, note that the toothbrush should not have a handle. If it has a handle then break it off. It's scientifically proven to work better with just the head. Alright, let's see if we can clean this sh The advantage of using a toothbrush is that you can get underside as well, uh, which you cannot usually reach with uh, something like a Q-tip. One eternity later. Here's a little update. Uh, I was playing with this off camera. Uh, this is the other side, basically. Um, I removed it and I was playing with it and I accidentally kind of unhooked one of these pulleys. Um, so here's a note. In case you're playing around with stuff that you don't know, take a picture before you touch anything. Now I, I know what this thing is, it's pretty simple, it wraps around this so that this motor pulls power from the battery and it turns the other things this side. It makes you wonder, back in the day, some employees were doing this. You have to admire the patience of these Japanese people. I could never do this. Okay, I think it's done, yeah. Thank God. So the issue is that it wants to turn but the wheel has come upwards so it's not making a good contact with this. So if I hold it down with my finger, you can see it turns fine. It's just misaligned that's all. See as soon as I let go, it, sc it screws up. Hmm. You know what's the issue with this thing? This gear has been completely worn off, kind of uh, halfway on the side. Let me show you. There, you see it? This part of that gear has been completely broken off, and um, every time that part comes into this contact, it immediately flies off, and uh, this happens. It doesn't make contact with it. So I'm screwed. Unless I can find a replacement gear for this, this thing will not work. I, I thought maybe the cassette uh, being on top would uh, push down on that gear and work, but nope. I almost feel sorry for this thing. I mean, it's well built all around. Even after so many years, it's been like really solid one piece. Um, oh, wait a minute. This is, this is a detachable thing. It's supposed to come off. Yeah, you see, I'm not the one who's breaking it. Sadly, this thing has seen better days and uh, plastic gears don't last as long as metal ones. Well, I think this is it for now. I can't really fix this unless I find a better gear to replace this thing. And everything else just works so great. Look at that. Even after 40 years. Well done, Sony. <sighs> well, let's just put this back together and uh, keep it as a museum piece. Man, this thing would have been so cool to check out. <laughs> Let's just keep this to the side and have some seconds of monetized silence with sad music. Roll it. Yeah, I know this was a pretty bad video, but yeah, at least I tried and if you appreciate my effort then um, consider giving a thumbs up. Um, if you have any suggestions or thoughts about this thing, then let, let me know in the comments. I'll check it out. And with that said, until next time, take good care of yourself and your devices and I'll see you soon. Cheers.